Good morning, you guys. Um, I am finding that at 8.39 in the morning, the lighting is nice um, compared to what I have or what the videos that I have been doing. But anyway, um, so I'm here to do a, a Dollar Tree haul and a small Target haul, um, Dollar Spot haul. Um, I went out yesterday. I went out for probably hour and a half, two hours, came back home, did my video for you guys, well, no, I didn't do the, I did the video in the morning, came, oh, I started taking my tree down, so the tree is down, I just gotta get all this stuff put away, but in the process, I'm taking things out to take to Goodwill, um, I gotta put that tree away, these are chargers that I bought right here. That's Christmas. That's got to go. Garland's got to come down. I took all the little stuff off the garland, though. Um, but still a lot to do. And at the same time, I'm pulling things out to take the Goodwill. So, um, yeah, lots to do today. Plus, I'm supposed to be going out to eat later on at 2, which I just don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I just I have too much stuff to do, you know. And... Um, so anyway, I'm going to jump right into the haul. And so I went to Dollar Tree. I mean, I'm sorry, um, Target first <clears throat> and went to the Dollar Spot. And I had to quickly go in there, get a few things and leave. Because I think this time of the year and Easter, that's my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> more so for the dollar spot, more so than Christmas. Usually Christmas, I t tend to um, go to Dollar Tree. But like Valentine's Day, Easter, stuff like that, because I do um, give my family members, siblings, nieces, nephews, stuff, you know, for Valentine's Day and Easter. Easter, I um, make baskets, but I kind of stopped doing that because they're, they're old. I just kind of put something together for... Zoe and Zoe's mom doesn't like her to have candy, so now it's just like maybe an outfit or toy or something like that. You know, her mom gets mad at me buying her toys too. But, um, you know, because she's got a lot of toys. Matter of fact, that's one of the things I was supposed to be doing this weekend was going through her toys and getting rid of all of the toys that are too young for her. And, um, yeah, she's, she's got a lot of toys. So, um, and the thing is, she's like the only baby in the family, so, um, Everybody gets her toys. Everybody gets her toys, clothes. For her birth, between birthday and Christmas, she probably got about seven pairs of shoes. You know, and everybody gets in. I mean, her mom, rightfully so, you know, complains about having to do um, so much laundry and keeping up with so much toys. And then, you know, she comes over. She doesn't have any other clothes. Anybody, you know, everybody fusses about, well, I never see her with any of her clothes on or whatever, you know. And. So anyway, her mom gets frustrated with all that. So she says, you know, don't stop buying her clothes and stop buying her toys and stuff like that, you know. And she doesn't get a chance to buy her own daughter clothes and stuff. You know, her dad, her grandmother, you know, all of them are always, people are always buying her stuff. So anyway, I don't know why I got off on a tangent with that. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, <clears throat> went to the dollar spot. And I like to decorate my kitchen with cute little holiday things. I think that's probably the only place that I am consistent with sticking to holidays is, um, you know, just putting little towels out uh, in the kitchen and stuff. Living room, I really don't put anything. If anything, if I find something real cute or whatever, I'll, you know, put it up one thing or whatever. But work, I usually do put things up at work. Um, but um, I haven't seen anything that really caught my eye. You know, I, I'm just trying to do less is more. I'm just trying to put up less. And um, so anyway, I did find a tea towel, one piece tea towel. These are adorable. Um, let's see what it says. Oh, um, it says Bloody Mary. I guess it has the recipe for Bloody Mary on it. I'm going to open it up. But because um, there's some writing on it. Yeah, so... There's a recipe for Bloody Mary on it. Uh, two parts of vodka, so on and so on. So I've never had a Bloody Mary. It To me personally, it sounds disgusting. So I've never had one. I just got it because I like the colors. And so I'm um, just going to put this in my kitchen. I really did think it was... I should have looked at it more carefully because I did think... I mean, I thought it was uh, Easter. 
and I, I just looked at the color and grabbed it. So that's that. This one, um, this is a dish towel, and I thought that was really cute. This set, okay, so this was a dollar. These were three dollars. Uh, there it is, three dollars. And I like this because I like the little wreath, and then, then this is embroidered. So, um, or I wouldn't say it's embroidered, it's stitched on. Um, and it says love, and so I love this color. This It's like a coral color, kind of. And so, um, yeah, and then it comes with the pot holder. And on the pot holder, you could see the little, um, uh, you co I guess it's like, um, helps to not have things slide out of your hand or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's hearts, and that's really cute. And then just looks like that on the other side. So I like that. And then along with that, they had little, uh, what do you call them, trim, three yards of trim. These were a dollar in the store, Joann's and stuff like that. This stuff is like maybe two, three dollars. I had it for a dollar. That's three yards. So I thought that was really pretty. It's the same color as that. And then I got it in white. And then they had these little heart, um, what do you call this, uh, trim. Um, the little hearts. I was looking for the darker color like this in the trim, but I didn't see it. And so, anyway, so I got that. And then for the clearance, I had bought the black Santa plate like this to put cookies on to take to work. Um, you guys probably saw that in a previous video. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. It's that time of morning where my nose runs and I sneeze and all that. But um, I've found the reindeer so cute. 20 cents, you guys. I was looking all over that store for more plates, but couldn't find any more. It'd be nice if I could find a four set. But um, this is really, it's that melamine. Um, uh, I guess it's made out of melamine or whatever. Yeah. Microwave dish. It is called melamine, though. Um, yeah, melamine. And it's dishwasher safe, not for microwave. I have to remember because these, I like to pop stuff like this in the microwave. They develop bubbles. And then one day I had one in the microwave and it, it I heard a pop. And it was like in the inside burnt and there was a little bubble and you could see the burn inside <laughs> of the plate. So, yeah, I just, you know, I use these to put cookies on, take them to work. The other one that I had, the Black Santa, um, you know, just to kind of put out food, like when you prepare food first, then you put it out on the plate. So I'm probably going to use these next year. Uh, I mean, I am going to use these next year, probably. Um, you know, just when we have uh, dinner or whatever, party, if whatever we have, you know, I'll sit stuff out on that and then I found this one this small one and it just says peace and this is cute dessert plate really nice um, simple I like it um, I was thinking about giving it to Kayla you know she my niece she's kind of trying to grow her little um, holiday you know stuff she she does not have a lot of stuff and she likes it that way she tries to keep as minimum things as possible, but I noticed that she likes the little holiday, you know, certain holiday things or whatever that she keeps that she can bring out every year. Um, this is simple. It's gray, matches her house. Gray, I mean, not gray, but um, it's like a grayish green, but I don't know. It's just simple colors. It's not like a lot of funky colors, and she just kind of keeps her house kind of neutral. Um, and then I just found uh, this Room Essentials BPA-free microwave safe and dishwasher safe. So I needed something I can pop in the microwave and heat up stuff. And like I said, it's just me. I have a microwave plate that I got at 99 cent store, but it's starting to like have little oil spots on it or whatever. You know, like when you put oily stuff in the microwave on a plastic. And I don't think that's safe. This one, I had a pink one like this. I used it. It happened to that eventually, so I threw it away. And I'll probably do the same with this. It was real cheap. Um, I use them until there's any kind of discoloration or anything showing that um, any food can get trapped in there, then I toss them. So this is something I just get often. Um, you know, now that it's just me and Alicia moved out, I'm trying to downs downsize on things. Um, you know, I don't need a ton of dishes and stuff like that. The only time I want dishes is like if I'm going to do a tablescape or whatever. I have a few set of dishes that I'm going to use, but I don't like everyday eating plates and stuff like that. I can just have one or two of those, you know, in case someone comes over, whatever. But I don't need a whole lot of stuff. I really don't. And so... <clears throat> 
also from Target. And the dough. <laughs> Yesterday I bought three cans of soup. I was craving soup and I didn't feel like cooking soup. I mean, I can make some soup, don't get me wrong. But I didn't feel like it. So I got some Progress, or what is this? Um, Campbell, Campbell Chunky Soup. And their soups, I think, are the best, this brand. And um, yesterday I had a sausage and rice, but then I didn't realize the rice was in there until after the fact. So I pretty much ate the broth and the sausage and chicken. The chicken was in there, too. And then um, they had another one, chicken and dumplings. That was good. So I had the sausage one for lunch, and then I had... Um, the chicken and dumplings I had last night, but I had made previously made some chicken, chicken leg meat, and I put that in the plant in the bowl first, and I poured the chicken soup over it. Oh my God, you guys, it was so good. I enjoyed that. <clears throat> but um, so anyway, also saw these at Dollar Spot. I don't want to put anything. Um, I thought these were real cute, you guys. And it has little hearts inside the spoon. Handles like a pink color. It's like covered with like a pink type of paint. And um, it's just a serving spoon. That's all. But I just thought these were so cute. These were $3. $3. But um, yeah, I thought those were cute. And then I got this other one in that same pink coral-ish looking red this is more of a red color, but again, three dollars. Can you see it? Three dollars. Yeah, three dollars. And this is just a regular spoon. And again, you know, parties, different things you have, whatever, serving, nice little serving spoon. Um, you know, I take food to work sometimes, and I always need, like, something nice to dish out the food or whatever. So, yeah, these are good to take with my um, mini food takers. I have so many of those things. And uh, the Pyrex food taker. I have like a set with three and then I have another set by itself. I had an old one. I ended up giving that to my brother. And then last from Target. I thought these were so cute, you guys. This I got for $5. And what it is is food container. I know we all have these. And um you know, like I said, I'm meal prepping and stuff like that. And so, you know, with my meal prepping, I'm getting tired of doing different containers and then having to wash them and all that stuff. So what I do is, um, lately, I'll just make like a big batch of chicken and put that in a separate container. And then I'll get my vegetables and get that in a separate container. And then when I'm ready to go, I take some from that and some from that and put it in one container. That way I don't have to make all these different containers of food. And so, um, yeah, I did that, and so I just thought this was so cool. Um, it's microwave safe, it's uh, freezer safe, it's, um, it says utensil, I didn't know it came with, oh, it does come with utensils, didn't know that, I was looking around the whole thing looking for utensils and couldn't find them, but you guys, you know, um, it's that one where it pops up and it gives you dimension. So it goes flat for travel, like you wash it at work and you can flatten it up and it's easy to carry. And then when you're ready to put food in it, you pop out the bottom and you put your food in there and take it to work. And then here is where the, I don't know why I didn't look, didn't pay attention. I was so busy looking around the, the little thing to look for uh, spoons, but there's a fork or a spoon, a fork. And what it is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a fork with a spoon fork on one end and a spoon on the other end. I don't know, that might be kind of annoying to eat with, but um, yeah, collapsible silicone storage bowl. So, and yeah, it'll be easy to store. You know, that's just really cute. It's really cute. Love the color. It's like a purplish color. They had it in purple and they had it, I believe, in blue. And of course, you guys know purple's my color. In addition to that, they had, and I have tons of straws, you guys. I have the, um, a lot of stainless steel straws. And I think I have some of these too. And for Christmas, I got the one straw that folds up into the little compartment or whatever my sister bought me. So, um, anyway, yeah, I also saw these. These were $3. Oh, I, I don't know if I told you guys, this is $5. And then this was $3. So they're little travel straws, um, a reusable straws. And this is the little thing that you clean out the inside of these straws with. And I have a couple of these already because uh, it came with other kits from straws that I bought, the stainless steel ones. And I love these straws. These are so cool. 
I need to keep one in my car um, because, you know, I go to um, Starbucks and I buy the water and I put the little flavor lemon lemon um, lemonade in it. And um, I always ask for a straw, which I really don't need to ask for a straw now. So I can keep that in there just to remember not to throw it away. Because, boy, I tell you, Sandra likes to throw stuff away and be like, oh, I threw it away. Anyway, that's that. That's that from Target. Um, so now some of my travel containers for work I'm going to throw out. Less is more. Um, then I went to Dollar Tree. I didn't get a lot, a lot of stuff, but, um, you know, at work I like to get little things for people every holiday. And so what I try to do is, um, I get, I got to find something cute with, uh, you know, like, uh, Valentine's related. And then for Valentine's Day, what I do is I just put like a little bowl out and, then I'll put these, you know, like these are erasers and, you know, my office, everybody's always using erasers or whatever. Now I doubt that a guy is going to, you know, pick one of these, but, um, I also, I'm going to put it candy in a bowl and some of these in there. And I did this last year, um, behind one of the courtrooms I used to work in and we have like counter space in the back and it's like a main hallway for the, you know, the office people in the back and the public comes to the front. So, um, well, they don't come in the back, but anyway, I put a bowl out there and I put erasers and pencils and candy and different things. And pff, are you kidding me? By the end of the day, all that stuff is gone. So, um, I want to try to do that again. I'll probably do this in the office though, cause I am in the, um, you know, in the office sometimes too. So, um, yeah, so I got two packs of those. I might go back and get, uh, some more and I need to get pencils. And it's always funny because I bring pencils there and then I go around, like, look on people's desks and I see the pencils that I bought. I'm like, oh, okay, good, you know, because we, we always need pencils. <laughs> we do. Um, anyway, I found these moisturizing foot uh, mask and I thought these are really nice. Um, you know, sometimes I want, you know, get out of the shower and um, you know how your feet are like real soft, like the skin is real soft on your feet. And that'll be the perfect time to put one of these on and exfoliate. <laughs> so just a, you know, a spa day one day. And so I got that in the moisturizing foot mask and exfoliating foot mask. And there they are. I was looking for this for a long time because I seen somebody haul this like, man, probably like in September, October, maybe October. I seen somebody haul that and I've been looking since then couldn't find it and then here it is I wanted to find it for Christmas because they make great stocking stocking stuffers, but I Did find the mask and the peels and stuff like that But I couldn't find those and then here it is after Christmas now they come out A lot of times I think what some Dollar Trees do is certain things you're looking for as far as beauty They don't take it out during Christmas They wait till like Mother's Day and all this stuff all of a sudden comes out um, I saw, the <coughs> well, first of all, these are what I use to take my makeup off. I love these. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, itchy throat. Sorry. Uh, so these I use every morning to take my makeup off my face. These are really good. These are kind of like the ones from, now, granted, the ones at Target are better. The, um. I forget the name. They look just like this, but I forget the name. Oil of Olay, is it? They do work much better, the Oil of Olay, because they're softer and you get more um, white, like you get. It's a better texture. But these are a little thinner, but they do work for me. I love how they work. Um, they're a little bit more abrasive, but I need that because some of my, like my eyeliner sticks... So I need something a little bit more abrasive to take that off. So, but I love these. I usually stock up on a lot of these. I only bought one this time because I could have sworn I already had two here, but I couldn't find it. But um, they also come in pink, but these work really good. It's makeup remover um, pads. And you get, um, they're by Global Beauty Care and um, has a retinol cleansing cloth. You get 30 cloths per pack. And I go through these things so quick. Also, when I was at the Dollar Tree uh, counter, I saw these. It was just curious. 100 calories, 15 grams of carbs, um, chicken noodle soup. And so, um, 
I just got curious, and uh, they were 50 cents. A lot of uh, Dollar Tree Christmas stuff is now 50% off. Um, so I grabbed, uh, let's see, this one. They're both chicken noodle soup. Just one is in red and one is in green. So, yeah, I will try this out. These are good to have at work. Get your little cup of um, your coffee cup. Get some hot water. Throw this in there. A little something in case you're sick. <laughs> but um, I might go back and get some more of those, too, because that's a good idea to keep those at work. Um, then, <clears throat> I don't know about anybody else, but I always feel the urge in the beginning of the year to cleanse. Um... You know, I love cleaning products at Dollar Tree. I really do. Um, I like to get these. First of all, I use these on my floor. They're saying that there um, are poles that you can buy now to put these on. Um, I haven't seen them yet. But, however, every time I go to Dollar Tree, I forget to look in that at section. I remembered the first Dollar Tree yesterday, but the second one I went to, I forgot. But I need to really stay focused. That's why I make lists when I go in Dollar Tree of things that I need to be looking for. Because I go out to the car and I forget. Also in the car for my Dollar Tree haul, I bought... Um, oh, I have a bag missing. Oh, there it is. Um, also in the car, I have a poster board. Me and my sisters and my niece and my cousin and my other cousin supposed to be getting together. And we're going to do vision boards. And, um, you know, just we, it's been a rough year for us. And, you know, it's life is short and, you know, you want to stay focused on your goals in life. And so making a vision board just kind of helps you focus on what you want in life, you know. And so we're going to be um, we're going to be making vision boards um, just so that we can stay focused of the things that we need to do in life or things that we want to focus on and just to steer us back into the direction and get us back going um, <clears throat> with um, just the things that we want to accomplish in life. There's so many things, you know, and um, you just get caught up in life in general and just not um, really get to concentrate on what it is really you want in life. So, you know, I told everybody to, um, I'm, you know, we're going to go to my niece's house and I told everybody just kind of focus on what it is that you, your goals that are in life or whatever. And whatever magazines, anything that you want to bring, anything you see in the magazine that is part of your goal, bring it, you know, cut out things. Um, you know, just, we're gonna we're gonna have it's gonna be fun it's the first time i've ever done that but yeah um it's gonna be fun so anyway i did buy some poster boards there in the car and so there's no need for me to haul the or um yeah bring those in the house you guys see the poster board so anyway yeah i like these i need to look for the poles the pole that they have is gray and um it holds these um and there was something else that went to it also that was for sale but anyway I'm on the lookout for it and then um, I also bought a scrubbing brush um, sometimes on the floor I don't know if you guys ever had this problem like stickers that are on your fruit um, stuff like that I'll take it off the um, fruit and then I'll try to put it in the trash or whatever and somehow some way those things end up on the floor and they stick to the floor and they don't want to come up so a lot of times what I do is I get Dawn so Dawn I'm telling you Dawn cleans everything and I pour a little bit down there and then I scrub it and then um, you know it comes off but I usually use a brace of sponge but I really don't like to clean my floor with a sponge that I'm gonna put in my sink and then I end up having to throw that away so I felt like um, if I get a scrub brush like this you know that this is more of a floor brush and so I do need to do spring cleaning and get some corners and stuff so this is gonna be perfect for that I need to get down on my knees and do some cleaning this spring. And then, you guys, I'm going to throw this in. This is from Goodwill um, the other day that I bought, and I forgot. I don't know. I think I forgot to show you guys. But, like, the fabric um, bulbs that I made for Christmas, you guys, um, I was at Dollar at um, Goodwill and found this. These are typically for quilts, but they had this um, on clearance at... I'm not on clearance. It was at Goodwill. And Goodwill had this, I think it, oh, why did I peel the tag off? I believe it was $3.99. Yes, it was $3.99. And I've seen these in the store, um, Walmart, for, um, well, first of all, I've seen these at 
uh, Hobby Lobby for like six something, and then I've seen I've seen them at Walmart for six something too. And so they were three ninety nine. I got that, and so they're just different kind of greens and um, like uh, light turquoises, blues, and stuff like that. I love that combination of colors. So I grabbed that, and then uh, another bag over here, and. Okay, so Lemon Lovers, all my people that follow, uh, that I follow um, on YouTube that do the lemon um, tablescapes and, you know, the lemon stuff to put out, you know, for, um, you know, to decorate and stuff like that. Walmart, I mean, uh, Dollar Tree has caught on. Now they're selling them in threes. And they, remember I bought last year, a little bigger than this, a lemon for a dollar. <laughs> But they shrunk them down just a little bit, and now they sell them in a pack of three. So, yes, I got that for my tablescape for my um, spring. I'm going to be going back to the lemons. Um, yeah, I'm going to be putting out, you know, lemons in my little fruit dish and stuff like that. I, just, I, love, le I love yellow, and I love lemons. So, best combination. <laughs> so, I did get two packs of those. And so, that's that. And I found these cute little thing to put in Zoe's stocking, but I think I'm going to make it for her and then put it in her stocking. She loves cute little furry soft stuff like this. So when I do her, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do her basket or not, you guys. If I do, then it's probably just going to be little toys and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, her mom doesn't mind. She has like... Um, like the goldfish or like Cheez-Its or, you know, something like that. So I'll probably do a little basket with little snacks like that. And just a few little toys and then, because she loves little furry stuff like this. And she can leave it at my house for when she's playing here. Because I'm going to have like a little, um, a little toy box for her in her room. And then here's a pink one. But I thought that was really, really cute. And she loves stuff like that. And then at mom's house, uh, my mom has big backyard, nice size backyard, and she has gardens and stuff like that. And so um, when we get her house together and everything, um, I think we're going to, I want to do a little fairy garden for her. Now I get scared because my mom, sometimes she had the potato bugs in her garden. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But we we'll have to see. But those little <laughs> candy land, I have a lot of fairy garden stuff already from the past. This year they're doing like, not candy land, like a lot of um, sugar garden sweets. I don't know. I don't know what you call this stuff, you guys. But it's really cute. They're made out of resin. And they're all, um, you guys have seen the fairy stuff. My stores, every time I go to the store, I'll see broken pieces and little stuff left like this. People are really buying them up. So I'm thinking about going on DollarTree.com and just ordering the set. Because they have like the little houses. And they have the, I, do, I did buy the people. Where it is, I don't know. But I did buy some people oh, I did run into it it's in there oh I should have added it to this but anyway um yeah so they have just a little you know just to make a little fairy garden for her um I think that would be nice I think she would like that um you know just and, and my mom oh my mom would have loved that anything with my mom's garden she like but um so anyway that was all I was able to get is the three it's like a gazebo and then the bridge. And then, I don't know what this is, some kind of decoration. Yeah, so those are the only ones that I was able to find. And then for my desk, I have a lot of this gold um, stuff on my desk. And I saw this blessed one and I thought it was so cute. And so I grabbed that for my desk at work. I have a lot of gold and purple on my desk. So, yeah, I grabbed this. So that's going to go to work with me. And... Get rid of these. Oh, I was looking for my Target re uh, receipt. Is this it? Yeah, I forgot to scan. You guys, I've been trying to do um, Shopkick. I've been in so many stores, and I totally forget to do the Shopkick. My sister... Both my sisters like, oh, I got a hundred dollars worth of shop kick, and I got this amount of money. 
So I joined in and I was like, okay, well, I want to do that too. Every time I go in the store, I forget to do the doggone shop kick uh, thing. So, and then last night they told me after I left the store to scan my receipt. Now, I don't know if I can scan it now, but anyway, I'm going to try to do that when I get off. So for the, um, oh, and then for work, I got these. Um, these are the little finger protectors. Um, I don't know, I might get these for here when I work with a glue gun, because I'd, I'd be burning my feet, I'm burning my feet, burning my fingers a lot when I use that glue gun here. So, um, yeah, these are just, they're real pretty colors. Oh, this is open on the side. Dang, I hope it, oh, okay. It was open on the side. I'm glad three of them are still in here. But, um, yeah, these are nice for, uh, work, too. You know, if you're going through, like, pages or whatever, we have these at work, but, um, yeah, I'll probably end up using these at home, though, when I'm using the glue gun, because I do burn my finger a lot when I'm using that glue gun. So that's that. And then last, you guys, I got, these are for the, um, for the, um, vision boards. I grabbed these. I have some of these here already, and I told myself I was going to use up the stickers and stuff like that I have here, but, um, I went ahead and grabbed some more. Uh, so these are colored gel pens. And here's some more gel, or gel, gel kind of, oh, I didn't even know that these have, look at the colors inside the pen, so they change as you use them. But, yeah, we'll use those. And then I bought um, more gel pens. So those are a little bit more traditional colors. So anyway, you guys, that is it. That's in into my home. Um, so yeah, you guys, I, check out the Dollar Tree, a lot of things are coming out right now, you guys, that are, um, you know, this stuff coming out that should have been out a long time ago, but, um, I'm starting to find more things, especially these, uh, exfoliating foot, um, uh, masks, and, uh, I was anxious to try that, and I wanted to put some in some stockings during the holidays, but, you know, holidays are, have come and gone, so can't do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, you guys, um, it's early in the morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just woke up. And so let me jump on here, and that's why my hair is looking crazy. It ain't slicked down yet. Then again, is it ever? <laughs> but, yeah, it's going to be a busy day for me. I got to get Christmas down. I got to get it down. I got to get rid of things. It's always the same story, but I got to make things happen today. Anyway, thank you for joining me, you guys. I appreciate your time. And um, last night, you guys, I have to say, last night, um, Joan Brody had a live um, chat. And I I had a lot of fun on there. Just listen, I was busting up. I was laughing. We had some church. We had church. Uh, <laughs> you know, laughing, just different things. And, you know, it had some motivational things going on, and I really enjoyed that. Joey, uh, Jody, I wanted to, Jody, uh, you guys, I'm sorry. Joan, I just want to give you a shout out, girl. I appreciate that. Um, you know, I needed that, and it was cool. I laughed uh, so hard yesterday, and, um, you know, I learned, you know, some things, and, and I, I just needed a lot of that, too, you know, and um, you know, it just, I really enjoyed that. I think that's probably the first live chat that I really, really, I mean, I love them all, but I really, really enjoyed that one. I just, and I stuck to it. We was on there for about maybe what, a couple of hours, but, um, it was fun. It was very nice. Um, so anyway, you guys, um, hopefully one day, knock on wood, that I can do a live chat and, uh, you know, get in there and do some talking and <laughs> have, have fun like we did on there. Um, Oh, and thank you for the subscriptions, you guys. Appreciate that. I really, really do. Um, and uh, I went out there and I tried to tap on everybody to subscribe for everybody. And, you know, so it, it's awesome to support each other, you know. So anyway, I'm going to get going. Got lots to do. You guys have a wonderful uh, Sunday. And, um, you know, we had to say a prayer for Australia. I was looking at the news this morning. and Man, you guys. They're really going through a hard time with those fires. Like, they showed a map, and the map shows it looks like the complete Australia 
I don't know if it's a continent island or whatever, but it, everything's on fire. It just seems like the whole thing is on fire. And it's really scary because I follow a lot of people on YouTube that are from Australia, but I don't really hear them talking about it. Um, I don't know what that is on my lip. But I don't hear anybody talking about it at all. But, um, yeah, let's just say a prayer for them. Um, they are sending people from the United States out there to help them. And, um, you know, if they can get some of them big old water planes over there, too. Girl. But, um, yeah, so we got to say a prayer for them. Anyway, you guys, uh, ooh, 35 minutes. Thank you for joining me, you guys. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, and um, hit the notification uh, bell so that you know every time I upload a video. So have a wonderful day. Stay blessed, you guys. Bye.